hello everybody welcome back to my channel i am chilling here on the couch because today i'm going to show you my favorite beauty products of the summer if you are not already subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and as always my instagram dms are open so if you have any video recommendations or suggestions throw them my way i haven't been crazy going full glam all summer so a lot of these products are skin slash hair products, but these have been my go-tos all summer long. So first thing is first, sunscreen. I cannot emphasize how important it is to put on sunscreen. Being tan is cute, but skin cancer isn't. And I'm not even being funny, I'm so serious. Put on sunscreen. A lot of my acne scars and dark spots were literally way worse than they needed to be because I wasn't putting on sunscreen. And the sun deepened those scars. So what I've been using every single day religiously is this Neutrogena Hydro Boost sunscreen. I think I got this at a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls, so it was a little bit cheaper. But either way, this is such a good sunscreen. It's really similar to the Neutrogena like hydrating moisturizer that they have. Um, it has like that blue tint to it. So what's great about this is that it won't leave that white cast on your skin. It blends in really, really well. And it blends in almost invisible. And it's not greasy at all. It does give you like a glow, but it doesn't look greasy. This is water resistant for 80 minutes. So if you are using this, remember to reapply. And again, do not skip the sunscreen. That was my little mom spiel. Next up has been my lifesaver all summer. I have been trying to train my hair so I don't have to wash it as much as I used to. I wash my hair about twice a week now and I swear to you, my hair gets greasy the day after I wash it. So I've been using the Batiste dry shampoo, which has been the go-to for so, so, so many people. So I'm sure you've heard of it. If you haven't, give it a try. It is so good. I've honestly, been relying on her a little too much a little too much but it's helped me not wash my hair so much and it's just so much healthier not to wash your hair every single day you're like you're stripping the oils from your hair so it's just nice to kind of have this as an in-between thing and not feel so nasty next up is another hair product so i got my hair done about a month ago my hair is naturally brown but i got a balayage into a blonde so bleach does not stay in my hair very well so i have to use a blue slash purple shampoo and that will help keep the blonde super bright i've been using this Fanola no yellow care shampoo once a week so i wash my hair twice a week um, one time i use my regular briogeo shampoo and conditioner which is actually in my last beauty favorites video and then the second time i wash my hair during the week i use this i leave this in for just a few minutes because I don't want my hair to like <laughs> turn purple because if you do leave it in for a very long time i think that's possible for the blonde but i just leave this in for a few minutes wash it out it doesn't leave my hair super dry i do use an olaplex conditioner right after just to make sure i have that moisture it's really been working well with this so i recommend this to anybody who is blonde in their hair that wants to keep the blonde it wasn't super expensive sold on amazon this has been my go-to. My next product is for the days that you are wearing makeup and you need to take your makeup off. I do not use makeup wipes. With makeup wipes, you're really dragging your skin and kind of pulling and tugging on it. And depending what direction you go, you're kind of helping gravity out. We don't want to damage our skin more than the environment and everything around us already does so i have been using makeup cleansing balms in my last beauty favorites video i used the drunk elephant one and i loved it but i heard great things about this pharmacy green clean one a lot of people have said they like this better than the drunk elephant one so whenever i ran out of that i went and i got this and i love this i'd say it's pretty similar but this just has like a minty fresh scent and feel to it it literally smells like refreshing but then when you put it on your skin you just feel fresh you feel clean you feel like a brand new woman walking out of the bathroom i love it and my favorite thing about it is that it comes with a little scooper so that you can scoop the product out you're not like dipping your fingers in and out which can be nasty so yeah scratch the makeup wipes go get yourself a cleansing balm this one preferably she's a good one 
And last, but certainly not least, probably my favorite product in this freaking video are the Mario contour and blush sticks. So for the summer, when I do do my makeup, I don't like heavy powders. I like a very natural and glowy and dewy look. So the cream products have really been in the summer. And once I heard that Mario came out with these products that are for everyday wear and they're not like super glam, I was like, let me go buy them. So I ran full speed to Sephora and got them. So I got the contour stick and then I got a blush stick. So for the contour stick, I got shade light medium. Even though I'm super pasty, the light shade just had an orange tint to it. So the light medium was perfect. And I'm gonna show you. So here is the light medium. It's like the perfect bronzy kind of shade. But the best part about this, it has a blending brush with it. I didn't even know this when I went to Sephora to get this. One of the workers came over to me and just like popped the sucker open and I literally was like, and that, that was it, that was it. I threw it right in the bag because it's so nice having individual blending brushes that way, like the beauty blender isn't mixing with blush and bronze and foundation. Your skin just looks black. This is just so nice so that I'm not mixing these. And then this is the blush I got. I got the shade Soft Coral and I will show you this as well. And this is the shade Soft Coral. It looks super pigmented, but once you blend it out, it's a beautiful shade. Like it's gorgeous. Ugh. And you can kind of see it right here, but it blends out super nice, super natural looking. It's actually what I have on right now, if you can see with the sun glare, but I have been obsessed and it's, it's so easy to blend. I've always struggled with cream contours because I struggle blending them, but this formula is so good. And that is it for my beauty favorites of the summer. Like I said, your girl's been pretty natural for the most part. I've been working a lot, so I haven't been wearing makeup as often. My skincare has not changed. I love Ulla Henriksen. I don't think I'll ever steer away from that path. If you haven't seen my Ulla Henriksen video, I will link that here as well. But again, remember your sunscreen and enjoy the rest of your summer. Thank you for your support and thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.